Alright, so we're back in Majula, and that's because the next area starts from here. We just claimed the old rotten soul or whatever uh, of the four great souls. We killed the rotten and got his soul, so now it's time to go on another branch. And just for the sake of mixing things up and not doing it the same way as I did last time, I'm going to continue to not do the obvious beginning places. So I haven't even set foot in that one room that the priest rotates to let you move forward. Hello, dude. Might as well talk to you to just spam through the messages. Because I already know what you say, but just in case there's like quest stuff that is activated by talking to you, I definitely want to make sure I do that. So back here there's a guy. Hey buddy. Opening this door was a horrible idea! Nope, okay. I figured he was going to beat his way out the door, but maybe, maybe not. Is he going to come? Buddy, you having troubles? Well now you're definitely having troubles. Enjoy that. Okay, so, that Dark Orb was very strong. Smack! <laughs> wow, I did 150 damage with the melee of my staff. Let's go ahead and re-equip my, uh, Estoc. Real quick. I'm not entirely- I don't even- I actually don't remember why I unequipped it. Where'd it go? Where is it? Oh god, there's so many weapons! What will I do? Estoc. There we go. I actually have a- I want to have it re-equipped because that guy took so much damage there that I don't really want to waste a second spell on someone that's that low on health, so I'd rather smack them with a the sword real quick instead of uh, using a second spell. Also, hitting them with my staff is not a great idea either. So, like, this would be a good example. This would be a good example right here. Already pretty much wiped him out with the spell, but then I can hit him with a, a sword for a bit, even though it's a shitty way of fighting and be more efficient with my usage of spells. So let's... No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to get her out. There we go. So on my way to the Rotten, we got a Fragrant Branch of Yore, which... frankly is a location for that item that I didn't even remember, but there it is. So now... I can let her out, and she's all safe and good and everything, and... she'll go back to town and teach me pyromancy spells, but I already have all them, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, completionism. Also, I, I like trophies and achievements and stuff like that. So I'm, I really need to get that, uh, one where you save everybody. And last time I didn't save everybody. I got almost everyone back to town. But I kind of, sort of, maybe killed the hag? So she never made it back to town, unfortunately. So I need to give you equipment to make you go away. So what's some crappy stuff that I, I don't need that bad? Alright, so now you'll probably go back to town, so that's all taken care of. Let's just go ahead and pull the switch and head on to the next area. My back! My chess piece was just clipping through my, uh... Oh, hey guys! How you doing? No, this is what I was hoping would happen. Son of a bitch! Okay, it's, it's rolling time. Oh, uh, scraps of life, scraps of life, scraps... Ah, oh, crap. I'm so bad at using the D-pad to navigate all these different pieces of equipment. Here we go. Roll out of the way, please. There we go. Scraps of life saved my life. Oh, that is... Oh, crap. I forgot about the basilisk. Get out of the way! He's gonna blow you up. Not, not blow you up. He's gonna turn you to stone. As basilisks are known to do. Yeah, I saw Harry Potter. Also, other things that predate Harry Potter. That was an unsuccessful parry. Well, now we know why I'm so good at this. Let's see if I can get it for a backstab. There we go. Oh, that was not a backstab at all. Shit. <laughs> I stabbed him in the back, though, so it's close enough, right? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, success. Lady, you should really get out of here before you die horribly. <laughs> Doesn't a basilisk attack me here? I remember there being one sta that stands right here and stares at the wall, because I made fun of him a lot. <laughs> I'll check these doors just for the sake of it. I should have really defaulted back to the weapons I like to use. Oh, are you a trap? No, you're not. Okay. I don't know if these are worth getting or not. Estus Flask Shard. That's pointless. I already maxed out my Estus Flask. I'll ge I generally think that I'll explore a lot of these areas less than I did the first time around in New Game Plus. Because, uh... I think a lot of it's just re relatively useless stuff, probably. Like, you got some poison daggers! I'm like, I don't throw stuff at people. Or you got an Estus Flax shard! I already found all the ones that I can use. You, now you're just throwing more at me for no reason. You'll see that I... If you, you might have noticed earlier when I was going through them all, but I now have Great Resonant Soul equipped because... Someone recommended that I do that, and I was aware of it already, but was a little uh, undecided on whether or not I wanted to do that. It is a little 
problematic to be trying to use an I a uh, spell that costs uh, a spell that costs souls to cast. Do any of these doors open? Illusionary wall ahead. You are a liar. Form of a lying asshole. Uh, Dark Souls Twins Powers Act? That's uh, not that abort joke. That was terrible. Uh, oh no. Oh wow. I made it. That's That was. Enjoy those physics, audience. Hey, buddy. You enjoy that little wound I just gave you? Yeah, you fuck up those walls. It's still your lunch money. Anything in here? No? Why am I even bothering then? Well. Sorry if I just made you sick by whip whipping the camera around like a lunatic right there. D uh, sorry, but not sorry? <laughs> Guy? Hi! Ow! That was rude. Maybe the switching around on the weapons just to save spells isn't really worth it, because... I do get a, I do get a lot of spells. Human effigy! Alright, that door was worth it. Human effigies are actually still often hard to come by. I'll rest to recover my spells real quick, and then just get the fuck out of this room before all the respawning guys are a problem. Yep, there's that respawning bas basilisk. The one that I knew was gonna be there. Alright, so we're in here. In the vague area that looks a lot like, uh... Looks a lot like the Winter Shrine. Is this how you get to the Winter Shrine? I actually kind of am forgetting. Shaded wo yep, Shaded Woods. You, I remember now, you fight some of these weird tumor-looking guys. And then at the end, you have that one split pathway, and at the end of that split pathway is... Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Anything chasing me? Nope. All the guys, uh, they either didn't aggro on me, or they leashed. I wonder how many of you guys understand those terms, because they're not necessarily Dark Souls terms. They're massively multiplayer online RPG terms, MMORPG, which, you know, like World of Warcraft, basically. Hi, guys. I'm gonna try not to waste too many spells on you guys. Double kill. Ow, dick. I was having a moment. <laughs> Where's my dark orb? There we go. I'm really bad at scrolling through weapons. Uh, spells and stuff. Hey, guy. Now you die. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit you again. Ow, you, hit, you actually threw another one at me. Oh, hey, there's a guy down there. Let's kill him. Let's kill him from far away like a pussy. Oh, well. That was a very skilled little strafe there. I should really heal before something happens to me and catches me off guard. I have noticed multiple times now. I don't know I don't know how many of them I actually included in episodes or even was recording during, but when I wander around a bit, there are just sort of red phantoms everywhere that are threatening. Like obviously there's the uh the two guys I fought on my way to the Rotten that were fighting me together. There was a there was a cleric and there was a uh a knight of some kind that looked- it seemed, he seemed like the knight that was like the poster boy for Dark Souls 2 with those like the fuzzy shoulders and everything. Uh, those guys are like unique monsters of some kind, like those are like NPCs that invade basically, like that kind of attack. But I've also seen people that are like, it's like the mummies you've been fighting everywhere else, but this one's red! And off screen because I didn't think it was worth- I didn't really- I didn't record any of it because I didn't think it would be worthwhile. I just was screwing around and lighting torches. I, I went to the tutorial area. And in the tutorial area, one of those guys with the crossbows is just like a red phantom suddenly. So there's just one freakishly strong and dangerous guy compared to everyone else just sort of chilling. So I, I assume that's just a regular thing now in New Game Plus. And I don't know yet whether they're... Uh, wow, he died in one hit. I do not yet know whether they're in predetermined locations, or if it's like a randomized effect. But I guess we'll find that out. Here we go, it's another bonfire. Chikau. I guess while we're here, I might as well... Uh, let's see, there's three directions. One goes to a king's door, so that's pointless for now. Other one goes to the Shrine of Storms, which is also kind of pointless right now. That NPC that's normally sitting right there isn't there yet, because I haven't freed him yet, because you have to go to the Huntsman's, Huntsman's Copes. And here we have more of these guys. Um, the first time through this area, the only way to progress is to go take that side path that has all the fog behind it. Hey, guys! No, stop! I don't like it. Uh, scraps of life. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by this. Oh, oh Jesus! I made a horrible mistake. Uh, Andy poisoned me. Let's do a quick... They did, and they didn't even die from it? Ah, uh, it was a terrible use of scraps of life, apparently. 
Screw you. Dual dodge. Please hit him. Okay. Let's do a quick freaking heal right now. Um, I don't have the poison thing equipped right now. Let's do a just a, a life gem. Well, that was pointless. I, pointless. I was thinking of like life gem is like I'll heal. It'll be a heal over time to counter the damage over time I'm taking from the poison. And the moment I consume it, the poison went away. Huh. Okay. So this direction won't actually make progress, but I know that there's a uh, a flexile sentry down the path that I can fight, so I might as well kill him and make him disappear forever. Maybe get some souls out of the deal. Oh! I completed the uh, Dark Diver uh, Covenant in my previous playthrough, so I do have Climax, which is... I, I think I have Climax anyway, I haven't actually used it yet. Ring of Life Protection, so large soul of... okay. Uh, Climax is known as being like the most powerful hex, if I remember correctly, because it, you, it uses 100% of your souls that you have and just throws them all away. And this, this, is, this actually is a good chance to test my resonant soul, see how much damage does this guy. Uh, Climax works just like this in that it's uh, powered by the use of souls. All the resonant soul spells are... Hey buddy, you just took a lot of damage. So, uh, how did you hit me? I thought I, I really thought that I was out of range. Diamo, so that was devastating, wasn't it? So he take he took 800 damage every time I hit him with that, which is stronger than my dark orb. So clearly, resin. Ooh, twinkling titanite. That actually made this trip worthwhile. I was just sort of screwing. Oh, you're a scary. No, bad. Let's just let's just use my special spells on you. Okay. Get away from me. No. Okay, now I can use. But my that's not what I wanted to use at all. Okay, Dark Orb. There we go. No! I'm bad at this. I need, I need to I need to get much better at scrolling through my uh, spells to use the exact one that I actually plan on using. I'm not very practiced at that because as my uh, cleric, the only spells I really used during combat were uh, Heavenly Lightning or Heavenly Thunder and Lightning Spear. Anyway, the variety of my spells and the fact that I have to use two different weapons to actually cast them definitely throws me off to some extent. So I have to be careful. Alright, what is that summoning sign for? White, Fox, Black. Well, you don't see- you don't- I don't encounter a lot of players for some reason. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Dark Souls 1, never mind. I'm gonna see how fast I can get through this whole area because I don't want to fight invisible dudes. Uh... Where am I? Where am I? Oh, there's the head of Van Girl. Okay, so someone might attack me while I'm here. Hello, dude. Screw you. I don't like it. I don't like it. Go away. Scraps of life, bitch. I hope I'm not in range of the head of Van Girl because that'd be bad for him. Hey, invisible dude. Come here. Scraps of life really helps against these guys if I can hit them, hit them with it because it's actually difficult to hit one of these guys with a projectile. Unless I use the binoculars, and even then it's not super easy. That's the single biggest problem I can encounter was a, uh... This guy talks forever. It's super problematic as a spellcaster to fight invisible characters or deal with dark environments because of the fact that, uh... You have to lock on to hit people consistently. It's pretty hard to... Oh! Well, there we go. I exhausted his dialogue enough for him to let me talk to him. Does he actually sell anything worth grabbing right now? He sells a magic barrier spell. Some gold pine resin, which I never use because I'm a caster. And I never really used previously either. Hey, Claymore. Well, nice to talk to you, buddy. On we go. Next, down to the next bonfire. Oh, that's the wrong way. Better be careful because people try to kill me. I think I saw an item though, so I want to grab it real quick. And then go back to getting the hell out of here. Ah! Uh, this environment is confusing, but I don't think I don't think I need anything from here, so I can just try to get out and move on. I'm moving upward, which I think means I'm on my way out. This tree looks familiar. Here we go. I made it. There's another bonfire up here, so I'm all done with that area. Here we go. Now is the place with the petrification lions, which are somewhat problematic. I don't like being petrified, to be, that's for sure. Blammo. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. 
that there's a line right there and he he's uh he's just always petrified and if you unfreeze him sometimes he attacks you at the bonfire which is problematic he might also drop something important i don't remember i'm trying to think i don't know if there's much reason to even bother going around much in this area or in aside from just going straight for the uh boss which is like right around the corner Anyone aggro on me? Because that's important to notice before I move on towards anyone. So far, no one's coming after me. Anyway, I was saying I don't use Climax because... Oh, God. Oh, hey, guys. How you doing? No, it's cool. That's what I was hoping would happen. Go away. Oh, crap. You're resistant to darkness. Oh, well, we have a new problem to deal with, don't we? Uh... Resonant Soul, bitch? That was still not effective. Okay. You. You guys are going to be problematic for me, aren't you? Uh-huh. So. Uh. Should I try to fight him with melee? I guess I, I could just keep dark orbing them, probably. Well, right now they're blocking, so that was dumb. They keep coming after me. Blammo. That was not effective at all. Maybe I can repost him. Come on, buddy. Ow. That was... A horrible failure on my part. Can I repost with this weapon? I should be able to... Yeah. It's definitely slow, though. Let's be careful about this. Nope! I am useless. Either I can do it, or, or I... Either my character can't do it, or I can't do it. <laughs> the timing's definitely weird. Let's be careful about this. Come on, guy. Blammo. Swing at me. As long as you're actually swinging your attack at me, I can at least shoot past your shield for that moment. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come get me. I'm right here. Hit me with your weapon. Hit me with your... What are you doing? Now you're just turning your back on me. This is a terrible strategy. You should really hit... What are you... What are you... AI, come on. Get on my level. Ow. That was rude. Oh, don't block. Oh, that... Apparently that counted isn't blocking it. Well, that that was just a genuine block. I'll take I'll take the blame for that one. Why do you take so little damage? I get it. You're probably resistant to curse. Huh. This is gonna be problematic, isn't it? All right. So new tactic. Fuck you. Roll. Fuck you. Roll. All right. Is that enough? Is that? Am I good? <laughs> It is kind of, this is a weird region of the game, just knowing the fact that, like, you can run past, like, two people, and then you're already at the boss gate. It's just right here. That's it. Are they, are they chasing me? I don't see them. They probably don't aggro this far away. Am I- I'm still human? Oh, wow, I am. I totally thought that I died. Yeah, that's right, I, I retreated. I forgot that I didn't even die. Alright, so let's deal with this bitch. Hey, lady. I'm gonna hit you with the- this button. Oh! Well, you seem to be a little effective, don't you? Alright, so let's get out of the way of where you can attack me as fast as possible. Are you gonna whip me with your tails? Yes, you are. Okay. We we're remembering things about this fight. A little too late, apparently. Oh no! This is the worst thing she does. I remember. Ah, crap. No! Okay. That's the biggest problem, is I remember she does that. Okay, she, I re she's a... I remember her being... I remember her being... Tough. Like, tougher than Quaylag ever was, if I remember correctly. Because she has some... Pretty dangerous magic. Alright, so let's try to get in range with an AoE. I think that's my best chance to do some real damage to her. Scraps of life, bitch! Enjoy that AoE all up in your... In your... Oh, God. Well, that's one way to avoid an AoE. Just go underground and disappear. Oh, is that her? Oh, she's underground over there. Crap. Crap. I need, I'm out of stamina already from trying to run away. <laughs> if I can do some scraps of life on her, that definitely seems to be an effective strategy against bosses. And she's definitely not as ridiculously resistant to my spells as the people outside were. Scorpioness. You want to come out, come out now? How long is she going to... Okay, there we go. Hey, lady. How you doing? Please don't do the homing crystal soul mass thing again. That was... No, you're doing the exact thing I said you don't want you to do no more. She's gonna whip me with her tails. No! 
Ah, uh, thank God that half of them try to attack me when I'm down. Oh, here she comes. Crap. No! No! Okay, that worked out. I'm fine. It's cool. She's half dead already. Wow. Yes, yes. Stupidly walk right back into my scraps of life. That's exactly what I was hoping you would do. That was dumb of you, lady. Ow. Ow. No, don't hit me with your weapon. Oh, that used up my entire stamina meter. I really need to get more stamina. Maybe that's what I should be put, put, put points into after I kill her. With my thing. Ow. That's a big problem. Let's do a quick heal before she instant. Please don't hit me right now. Please don't hit me right. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. I thought she was charging up some super attack. Man, scraps of life. Southern Ritual Band plus two. Ooh. 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 I only have a plus one. Now I get a plus two. Now I get even more spell slots. Oh no, that makes me slightly heavier. Now I have a shitty roll. Crap. I'm gonna have to change my pa I'm gonna have to change my pants to something. Because the, the extra attunement will definitely be worth it. But yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have to change to sl slightly worse equipment. Or put a point into increasing my equip load real quick. Because this new ring gives me more attunement slots, but is heavier. Unfortunately. Well, that's that boss down. I don't, I don't even really feel that bad for skipping that area. Maybe some of you guys will be like, what? You, you know, you skipped an entire part of the game. That's bullshit. Although none of you freaked out when I, in Dark Souls 1, I skipped the entire lava level by using that shortcut that you get from a covenant. But yeah, that's a that's a big petrif- uh, curse heavy area that I don't have to play through, I guess, because you can just walk straight to the boss after getting past like two dudes. You will lose everything.